my name is Sarah Louise and I'm the singer-songwriter from Essex and I wrote a song last year called Purple Flowers. The meaning of the song was for a very special couple who actually decided to use it for their wedding day which made me really happy and it wasn't intended for that at all in the beginning so what I decided to do was because everybody had such a terrible time having to stay in their homes there was no way anyone could go to any gigs or anything like that so I decided to do lots of live streaming on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram I had quite a regular following that I used to go live every Friday called Facebook Friday and I went live in this group called Lancaster Live every Monday night and they asked if I would do a slot on Valentine's Day and I said of course I will why don't I call it Lancaster Love instead of Lancaster Live and then everybody that joins in will be able to help me write a song for a lucky couple so what I did was I put a post out to say if anybody could like the page and then like my post they would be put into a prize draw so I pulled out two names I pulled out one name of the prize draw but it happened to be my friend Amber who won it and then she joined the live on the 14th of February 21 and then everybody came on the live with me and we just wrote a beautiful song um, but she found out she'd won it before the, the Valentine's evening. It was a Sunday night. And she, I asked her to send me some bits of information about how, how she fell in love with Gavin, how Gavin feels about her. And it was quite personal, but she sent me a list of 34 reasons why she loved Gavin. And he had 34 reasons why he loved her. And I found out the meaning behind that was because 34 reasons to love you, 34 reasons to care, which is where that part of the song came from. And they were both 34 years old at the time, and that was their lucky number. So that's their lucky in love number, and it's quite special. So then what I did was, I started writing um, a little melody to it, which was very easy because I only learned to play the guitar last year. It was just a basic C chord. basically started off as simple as that and it just went from there and everybody was joining in and country chat with Dom he got involved and he said at the end why don't you say I was looking for a middle eight I was looking for a part of the song that would feel special that would feel it would sum up everything in one moment and um, like there's always something I'm grateful for there's always moments my heart beats for and me and Amber are very similar people in terms of we do affirmations and we have gratitude lists and we appreciate sunrises, sunsets, and we love it. Um, and it's really lovely that she was able to tune in with me on the lyrics. And she said, there's always something I'm grateful for with Gavin. There's always moments that I'm special, that are special with us. And then, and then I kind of tried to rhyme it like, there's always moments I'm grateful for there's always moments my heart beats and it kind of fit really well and then Dom said um, basically I can't wait for the rest of my life I can't wait for you to be my wife I love that lyric but I didn't put it in in the end because I wanted to make the song relatable for everybody else as well so it's not just about two people it can be about anybody so there's always reasons that you fall in love with someone and sometimes you have this big list of what you want out of a person and sometimes that list isn't really worth writing because you end up falling in love with someone for reasons you never thought you would and it's quite special that, that it just turns out to have purple flowers in the song and that's why we called it purple flowers because when Gavin bought purple flowers for Amber on their second date she was really happy that he remembered that they were her favourite, their favourite colour. 
and he took them to her and it just made her feel really grateful for him. That's why we called it Purple Flowers. And I took the acoustic track to, um, to Mark Wickenden and he said to me, this is a really beautiful track. I think that we could do something with this. Um, and I said, I said to my, my guitarist Steve, I said, will you come and play it for me? Cause I'm not confident. Um, and it was just all very rushed because I needed to get the song for Amber as a backing track originally so that I could sing it at her wedding. So I put a guide track down on the track that Mark prepared for me with piano because it just sounded so beautiful with piano and Steve didn't do it in the end because it was all just very rushed. But it was all meant to be. It felt like it happened for a reason. It felt like Mark was supposed to play piano on that track. Amber wanted piano and we did it. And I said I would give it to her as her wedding gift because um, she's a very special friend to me. It just, it just was, it all turned out like it was meant to be. And then I, I sang on the song as a guide track. I wasn't gonna show Amber with me singing on it. I wanted to save it as a surprise and give it to her as a wedding gift, as well as sing at her wedding. And unfortunately I got COVID the weekend before her wedding. And I knew I had to isolate for 10 days, but it turns out that I was really rough and feeling really bad. I couldn't even lift my head off of the pillow. It was awful. And yeah, luckily I said, Amber, don't panic. I'm not gonna be at your wedding, but I've done this for you. And I FaceTimed her with the track and played it to her. And she was just like emotional because I'd finished it because it was a surprise. She didn't even hear the whole track until that time. And she was so happy with it. She couldn't believe the change in it from what it was on Facebook to what it was then. And I'd added extra bits in it. We had a little piano instrumental. And it was really lovely to see her reaction and see Gav's reaction and they were so made up, but they were just a little bit gutted that I couldn't be at their wedding. So luckily we had a track and it was played at their wedding. And I'm so happy that she was able to have the song that was created for her as her first dance at her wedding. It was really special. And the writing process was a really special way to write that song. And it just made me feel like I want to include everybody in my songwriting. Um, and because I did that, I did a songwriting challenge on TikTok. Every day I wrote a song, 20 seconds of a song. And then everybody that continued to like the song, share the song. I then worked on the song that was the most popular. And that's how Sunflower came about, which is really bizarre because I wrote Purple Flowers, then wrote a song Sunflower, then brought out the EP Sunflower to believe in yourself because I feel that if it wasn't for people believing in me, I wouldn't believe in myself. And I know that you shouldn't expect other people to make you feel good, but without people surrounding me, like your vibe really attracts your tribe. Without that, I really don't feel that I would have been able to create any songs because they wouldn't have given me the encouragement and the love that poured into me to help that love come back out again. So I just want to thank everybody that's been on this journey with me so far. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for helping me write the most powerful songs to other people and for other people. And I hope that some of you can relate to my songs in some way because that's what I want. I want to put people's happy faces back on and for them to be able to relate to my songs in a way that you can't relate to anything else. Every song tells a story. What's your story? Let me know and I'll write a song for you. Thanks everyone.